In today's video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how you can create routines in Alexa. Routines can be used to transform your Amazon voice assistant into a smart home automation machine. Routines can be used to trigger one action or a series of actions all at once, giving you the power to customize your smart home to suit your specific needs. Routines can be triggered by your voice, by the time of the day, or even by smart home triggers such as motion sensors, contact sensors, and presence sensors. Once triggered, they could then switch on a light, close a blind, switch on a fire, or even start your robot vacuum. Their possibilities are near endless and limited only by your imagination. Put simply, they are definitely something that you should be taking advantage of if you're an Amazon Echo owner. So how do you create a routine? Let's get straight into it. So first, you're going to want to open your Alexa app and go to the plus button in the top right corner. From here, you are going to select routine. You will then be taken to a new routine page where you are able to rename the routine to anything you would like. Once you have renamed your routine, you will need to go to add an event under the when section and press the plus button. This will show you your options for triggering a routine. You can either use your voice and insert a preferred phrase or you can set it to a schedule so your routine will trigger at a specific time of day or at sunrise or sunset. You can go further into each of these settings to choose for this routine to be performed every day or just certain days. Next up is Smart Home and this is the fun one as this is where you will be able to use any of your smart devices that act as a trigger to then have a domino effect on your other smart devices. For example, if you were to switch on a switch and have it not only turn on your light, but also switch on your TV and your soundbar, even switch on your remote control candles. You will also need an IR blaster to perform this, but these can be picked up quite cheap on Amazon. I will leave a link in my description for the ones that I recommend. So you can also trigger routines to alarms. So for example, when your alarm goes off, you could have your Echo begin playing your flash briefing for the day to let you know the news, local weather, and even traffic information for getting into work. There is also sound detection. This can be used for a multiple of sound triggers like a baby crying, a dog barking, a cough, snoring, a beeping appliance like a washing machine or a dishwasher or even a microwave. Or finally the sound of water so that you could have your music begin to play when you would usually have your shower. Once you go into any of these options you are again able to customize the time of day that you would like these sounds to trigger so that they are not just repeatedly triggering throughout the day. So the last on the trigger list is the echo button. These are great if you don't have a specified time of day for your routine and prefer not to use your voice but the only downside to this is that it can only perform one trigger and therefore double pressing the button or holding the button won't give you the option to switch something off that you've just switched on once you have selected a trigger you then go to add an action under the Alexa will section this gives you the option to perform one or multiple tasks such as control a smart home device prompt Alexa to say something, send an announcement across multiple Echo devices, listen to music, call someone, prompt Alexa to tell you the date or time or weather information, or adjust your Echo settings such as its volume, or even switch your Echo to do not disturb. These are just a few of the options that are available to you. So now that we have seen what routines can offer, now I'm going to show you an example of how to create a simple smart home routine. So the first thing we want to do is rename this routine. Let's call it door lamp. Once the name is on, we can then go to add an event, choose smart home, and I'm going to choose my front door contact sensor. Then I'm going to choose when the contact sensor is closed. Now your when should say front door closes. We will leave this as any time and go to add an action. Go to smart home, go to lights. Then I'm going to choose lamp and then choose next at the top right. Choose power and select on. Press next and then just hit save. These routines sometimes take up to a minute before they begin to work, so keep that in mind. So now let's give this a quick test. So that routine seems to be working fine, and it really is that simple to set up a basic routine. You could then continue adding further actions to this routine if you choose to. If you would like to get some automation ideas using a contact sensor, then be sure to check out this video.
I hope you have found this video useful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps the channel so that more people can see these videos. And until next time, thanks for watching.